Hi there, it's David Taylor with another one of my video blogs uh, for the, uh, the UK uh, Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing today is looking at my plants with the view of actually seeing how they're going to be blooming uh, for the day of the show, which is just over three weeks. Uh, it's on June the 17th, uh, Sunday, June the 17th, uh, and we're just over three weeks now. I'm filming this on Friday the 25th of May, um, and I'm going to be looking today at what I can do to try and get a really good hit of bloom on that specific day or around that specific time. So we'll look at that a little bit later. Um, I've also got a, a couple of footnotes, actually, uh, for my previous two videos. Uh, root mealy bug. It's very isolated. I haven't found, I've not every uh, plant out of its pot. There's, there's no other um, uh, suggestion that there's anything in any other of my, of my plants. They're all looking very strong and healthy. You can usually tell a little bit of weaker growth, a lot of yellowing of leaves uh, and that sort of thing. It's usually an indication that there is a bit of a problem with the plant. Another comment about my um, fertilizer video that I, I did uh, two videos ago. Um, somebody kindly uh, wrote in and said the K, you remember I didn't exactly know why they used the letter K, uh, and that K uh, is for Callium, which is the Latin name for potassium. So they use NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and of course uh, the K is used for callium. That's a brief explanation and puts that one to bed as well. And I thank uh, the person Anna K for um, noting in to me uh, to uh, just finally nail that one down. So thanks very much for that. Right, now in terms of my plants um, being ready for show, um, it's a relatively straightforward scenario that with about three weeks to go, you want to be really picking off any bloom that's out now because a pelagonium bloom in general lasts for about three to four weeks. So it's just a question really today, because uh, I've got quite a busy weekend, so it's going to be a question today of me stripping down blooms that are very open and very and certainly any that are, are just beginning to go over. Now generally my plants have, have been a little bit behind all spring, mainly because in the UK we actually had quite a cold spring up to about a month ago. Right now my regals are all very late uh, and I'm relatively convinced that I'm not going to have any ready for the show. Now they do tend to come in a burst um, but the majority of mine are only just starting to bud up uh, and I, I think I'm going to be very, very lucky to have any ready for the show. So I've certainly not got any sign of any regal bloom on any of the plants that are earmarked for show. I've obviously got some, but these aren't show plants, um, they're in large pots, oversized pots and they're putting on a good display, some of them, uh, but they're not plants that I've got earmarked for show. Um, so we're getting down then really to my basic zonals, the larger zonals, uh, which are all about bang on where I would want them to be. Now here is an example of one of my zonals and it's just coming into bloom, um, just starting. And I'm probably not going to touch this. I may take a couple off. I'll probably take that one off. And I will probably take that one off if I can get it without breaking uh, anything too much. Yeah, that one comes off pretty easy. And the one at the edge. But all of the others are just literally starting. And that's more or less going to be spot on, ready for show. There's a very Spartan head there. And I will actually take that out. Uh, because there's only two blooms on it and it's not worth keeping. So we'll get rid of that. And there we are, hopefully the rest will, um, will come through and that, that's exactly what I'm aiming to do. I wanna get a plant that's like this now, lots of bloom, just about rising uh, and ready to go. And that's what I'm gonna try and get all of my plants geared to do. Here's a good example of one that's, that has gone over really. There, there's, um, 
these blooms are going to need to be pulled out and I'm going to um, have to really do a bit of work on this one. It's not a bad shaped plant. It's a first year plant really, it's about 18 months old and there's a lot of following bud which is what you need for a good show plant uh, and that'll all come through in the next uh, three weeks. Right now I've actually just started this and I can see a little bit of a, is, is not a, a big issue but um, one that I, I don't know that I've ever shown before and it's a condition called proliferation. Uh, if you see on this stem, in fact I'm going to break the whole stem off so it's easier for me to actually just break the stem off and take the whole stem out because there's not a lot of bloom on it anyway. Um, and this is what we call proliferation. Um, what you've got is that you've got a little supplementary stem coming off of the main stem and that's called proliferation. Uh, there is a, a sort of um, an additional sort of common name called hen and chickens um, is a sort of a, a bit of a common name given to it but proliferation is its sort of proper name if you like for want of better words I'll just put that back up there um, and it is a fault I mean in sort of judging terms that is classed as a fault uh, you've got the ordinary uh, blooms coming off of the main stem and then you've got this supplementary stem uh, that's got another little batch of blooms on it. Uh, it's a quite a common um, issue at this time of year because the plants have got a lot of growth and a lot of bounce in them uh, and they're really, they're, they're, it's growth hormone gone mad really so it's not, it's not a serious issue at all. Uh, and not often settles down once a plant really gets uh, really gets going through the season, but um, it's worth noting. Um, and often you can see there's not a great deal of bloom on this stem, and that's because it's putting all of its effort into pushing up to this little supplementary stem that's growing off of, of that little uh, growth tube. Uh, but proliferation, yeah, it's not too much of an issue. Usually settles down as the season goes on. Um, but it is a fault. It's classed as a fault in uh, judging terms for Pelagonium shows. Okay, so there we are. I've just about finished that one now. Um, by the time I've actually taken a lot of the uh, slightly older bloom off, um, there was the ones in the center did have a lot of the proliferation going on and so I've had to take those out uh, which hasn't left a lot but uh, there is a lot of following bloom on so I'm still relatively hopeful that that will make a quite a decent plant but the good thing is is that I have got a lot of dwarfs going this year um, so I'm going to have a good bit of choice um, there's only a certain number you can enter so um, We'll go on from there. But that's the sort of thing I'm trying to do. I'm, these are very young blooms. These have only probably come out in the last day or two. So I'll leave that now to see how it develops in the next three weeks uh, and then make my final decision about whether it's going to be sort of uh, good enough for the show. But it's going to make a good, lovely, small dwarf plant anyway. So, uh, okay, so if we have a look at a few of my plants um, that I'm going to need to do, um, I won't bore you with showing you me actually doing it, but give you an indication. It's really only the dwarfs uh, that need doing. Um, this one will need doing. This is going to need just mostly round here. Not a lot of bit of following bloom coming out. Um, that one won't need doing because it's just literally breaking. That one's going to be fine. That's another one that will probably be fine. Not going to need to do too much of that. And here are some of my floribundas. These are mostly floribundas around this area. This one here, this is Gosbrook Susanna. This is one that I bred and it's named other. This is absolutely spot on where I want it. All the buds breaking through just beginning to come out so I won't touch that that'll be left now and in three weeks that'll hopefully look pretty good uh, Shrivenham Star is another uh, floribunda which is uh, again just coming out don't need to do anything with that um, 
The Stella here, another one of mine, Robin Louise, named after my daughter. This one's just coming out. I might get nip out a couple of these top blooms. But again, they're all more or less where I would want them. Um, the dwarfs are the only ones that are a little bit ahead of time. Everything else is just spot on where I want it. With the exception of, yeah, you've got it, my regals. I have got no idea what's going on with them. These were stopped at something like 20, 21 weeks, and there is no sign of any bud at all. Good plant, good shape, everything I want, except no bloom. So that won't be uh, ready for show. Here's the one I showed earlier, which is absolutely, again, spot on. Another one next to it, slightly younger version. This one is Highfields Candy Floss. And I'm hopeful that'll look pretty good as well um, in three weeks' time. Another one, just throwing bud exactly where I would want it. Um, again, don't need to do anything. The timing is perfect. Uh, that one's called Mrs. May Last. Uh, that was bred by uh, the PAG's chairman, Steve Pollard. That's looking pretty good. Would like a little bit more growth on the bloom, but um, like all bicolours, um, they're a bit later coming this year, again, because of this cold early spring that we had in the UK. Uh, so that has held up the development of the bicolour plants. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's the only thing with having a cool spring. Now, going over here, this one, this is a good standard. I'm, I'm hopeful that I'm going to somehow be able to get this to the show. Again, full of bud, just beginning to come out. I may strip a couple of these out, but that will, again, be ready for the show, just about spot on. Uh, more accident than uh, through anything else. Uh, but um, I've got, certainly got the timing right with the, with the zonal side. Regal side, though, I'm just so annoyed about because I really enjoy showing regals. Uh, and in terms of regals, Princess of Wales. Can't beat it. Absolutely stunning bloom. And that is one big plant. Um, that is probably over a meter across, uh, probably almost getting too big. But that has done very well and looking very well on it as well. Now, the only one I haven't mentioned actually are angels. Um, I don't actually grow a lot of angels. This is a variety of my own. It's a scented angel called Berry Zest, or some people still put the Gosbrook in front of it because I put the Gosbrook name when I first released it when I ran the nursery. Um, it's got a lovely scented leaf. Is, and this one, again, is coming just about perfect for the show. So uh, I may just, as it's a single, I will probably just take this one bloom that's out. Because the blooms last a little bit less, a little bit of a shorter time. Um, they last two to three weeks rather than three to four for a double, for a single bloom. Sometimes even slightly less. But... Um, I've just nipped that out. That's all I need to do with that one. Um, so that's not looking too bad. That'll hopefully be ready. So there we are. That, that's it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed a little look around my glass house and what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Um, it's not a great deal of work. I've just, you know, with the, the temperatures, which is always something that, you, you know, you're just subject to. Um, for all my zonals uh, in general, I've got the timing just about spot on. Regals are going to be very late, as they always seem to be for me. That's one of those things. Uh, dwarfs are a little bit ahead, a little bit of work to do on those uh, just to clear down some of the bloom. But that's going to be it. Um, we just look forward now to the show uh, in three weeks. Uh, and I'll hopefully be back next week with another informative video for you to have a look at. Uh, so I'll see you again soon.